So my name is Nancy Chen. Um, I have a day job. It's Sidley, where I'm a strategist. And uh, on the side, I own a couple of restaurants called Otto's Berlin Donor and Otto's Beer Hall. I think the most important thing is to stay curious, um, to never lose that sense, especially when you when you are younger and just being really inspired by the world. Um, I think a lot of people tend to get older and, and be more comfortable where they are, um, but if you can keep that sense of curiosity, there's always going to be interesting opportunities um, for you. I tell myself to party less, maybe. <laughs> party a lot. Um, I think it's more, um, it actually might go back to curiosity in the sense that um, read. Read a lot and consume a lot of knowledge and information and have a lot of life experience. Because in the end of the day, everyone's going to have a pretty similar res um, resume. But what really makes you stand out is, um, I think, things your hobbies, the things that you like, um, the things that you've explored on your own time, and being able to develop that. I think um, I think on twofold. First, the event organizers, um, and I was just talking to uh, some of the organizers here. The most amazing thing about being able to uh, do an event like this and create something is that it gives you that work experience and that life experience um, before you even graduate school. So being able to put on this kind of production is really impressive um, for you know wherever you want to work and where, wherever you go in life. Um, I think the best thing about this is just really opening up your mind and having um, you know perspective from people. In, in, within the industry. So a lot, of, a lot of students, they kind of get into their head of what they want to do, right? Oh, I'm gonna, when I graduate, I'm gonna be a producer, or I'm gonna be um, you know, a strategist, or whatever it is. Um, but being able to be exposed to people um, that already are in that industry and get some insight from it, you can actually start to realize, okay, maybe actually that isn't what I want to do, and this is what I want to do instead. So it really kind of gives you that perspective early on versus going into something and realizing you don't like it. Probably going to be Elon Musk. You see so many entrepreneurs these days that are all about business, like creating a really big, profitable business, but he's really about impact and societal impact. And I think um, hopefully that's where entrepreneurship is going. I, I would love to sit down and talk to him. I imagine he's totally weird, but in person. <laughs> but I think I'm very inspired by what he does and the way that he thinks about life. If you want to get into strategy and advertising, um, I find a lot of people go into this industry without actually studying it or reading it um, beyond the classroom. So there's incredible books. Um, I know Peter mentioned some in our panel, like Branding with Brains or How Brands Grow. Um, and those books have really kind of changed my whole approach for, for things. Um, and it's actually rooted in science and, and uh, statistics um, versus a lot of the fluff that you, you tend to get. So. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's a boring answer, but I think those, those were really the foundation for me to do um, anything from advertising to my own businesses.